Hey guys, in an earlier video I showed some of the features of the TI-84 Plus CE that you'll need to know for calculus. If you haven't watched that video, the link is in the description below. In this video I want to show you how to fit a large graph on your calculator window. It may be intimidating to figure out how to fit a large graph on the calculator window, especially if you're not familiar with the calculator. Do you just try random window settings or what? Well, I'm going to show you a relatively easy way to navigate that situation. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's just check the window and right now I'm in a standard window setting from negative 10 to 10 in X values and negative 10 to 10 in Y values. Now, if I go to a Y equals and uh, graph something relatively large, but let's keep it simple, let's just say 50X squared plus 100 when I graph it, obviously it doesn't show up because the window is too small for the graph. So what I can do is hit the zoom button and then using the arrows go down to the point when I see zoom fit. Just like the last video, I don't like go using the arrows to go down. Uh, I know that zoom, is, zoom fit is zero, so I just hit zero and it fits the graph on the window for me. But now, I see these lines over here, what do they really mean? When I check the window, it shows that my Y minimum goes from a positive value to another positive value, which means this is not my X axis. So if I want to see my X axis, all I have to do is go into the window and change the Y min to a negative number. Let's go from negative 500 to 5100. And when I graph it now, I can see my x-axis and I can also see my graph. Fairly simple. Hope you guys found the video helpful. If you haven't already, please subscribe and leave a like. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. Check out other videos on my channel. And until next time, take care guys.